What's up? Welcome to the High Performance Man. These are three things that you are doing that are making you fat in the morning. Let's talk about it. Number one is simple sugars in the morning. So if you're someone that enjoys simple sugars in the morning, what this is gonna do is spike your blood sugar. Now, what that does is sends a bunch of insulin into your bloodstream in order to process all the carbs and simple sugars, simple sugars that you are digesting. Not so problematic, however, what happens is once your blood sugar drops because of that sharp rise and fall due to the, the fast digesting nature of the simple sugars that you're digesting, your blood sugar is gonna crash. When that crashes, your body's going to want more fuel. So this is why having a slower digesting fuel source is so beneficial for your diet and fat loss phase, but this is the reason why you can be undoing all your progress without even really feeling like you mean to. So. Simple sugars in the morning could look like, it could look like cereal in the morning, it could look like a fruit tart in the morning, it could look like, you know, a coffee with extra sugar in there. Whatever it is that you're eating that is essentially processed or high sugar foods, it's going to lead, lead to a sharp rise and fall in your blood sugar, which will lead to more cravings after that, which could be an hour after that, and by that stage you'll be scrounging around looking for some more fuel and some more food. So without you even understanding what it's about, you're gonna be hungry. So to avoid that, what I recommend is having complex carbs. So this means I would recommend some whole wheat toast or some sourdough bread, some eggs stuffed with fat in it that will slow down the digestion of the food you're eating. Typically foods with higher fat content will slow down the absorption rate of the food that you're eating. So slower absorption means more sustained energy, which will in this case at least lead to more fat loss or less weight gain, if that makes sense. Number two thing that you are doing wrong in the morning is having liquid calories. Now, this is obviously a case by case basis, but what I find people when they have uh, big smoothies, things that are already pre-digested and blended, they hit your bloodstream just a little bit faster than what it does, than what it would do uh, if you were chewing and breaking it down normally, following the regular processes that we would in normally uh, have to process food. If we're having smoothies, fruits, that sort of stuff, inherently not that bad, but if you're doing that in the morning, what I would definitely recommend is delaying that at least to the afternoon uh, or pre-training. Okay, let's say if you're having it as a pre-training pre shake, not too bad, but if you're someone that is having your morning smoothie and then just going to work, I really would recommend having a slower digesting fuel source. So what does that look like? Any of those things. So if you like eggs for breakfast, it could be so much as, uh, what else is there really? Could be even peanut butter on toast, which I definitely wouldn't really encourage all too much. It's not too bad. Uh, but the slower rate of digestion would be a benefit. Instead of having your morning smoothie, what I would definitely recommend is having all of those fruits and vegetables in different components. So let's say if you had a protein shake in the morning with banana, all that sort of stuff, and oats, what I would definitely recommend is probably having those calories later on in the day and having something um, that requires a bit more digestion in the morning. So my personal favorite always is that eggs, toast, avocado, all those sort of things that take a lot longer to digest than something that's already pre-digested like a smoothie. Now this is personal preference and these are just some of the things that I have seen along my journey as a trainer. So in no way can you uh, not lose fat if, uh, if you're having a smoothie in the morning. However, these are some things that I notice that are really inhibiting people from making the best fat loss that they can in the week. Eat the banana, I recommend you eat your apple, I recommend you chew and digest all those things. You get a much better and more sustained release of energy throughout the day. Number three, my biggest mistake or the biggest mistake that I feel like people are making with regard to their morning routines is too many stimulants in the morning. Reason being, if you're somebody that is highly stimulated, let's say you don't have that PM coffee, you feel tired, you're gonna be looking for some food or some other fuel source because you're not stimulated. Okay, so what I would definitely recommend is having a single shot of coffee. Uh, if you really wanna double, go for it, but I would recommend having a little bit less liquid and a protein shake or something to go alongside it. That would be my tip. I mean, everybody is different. So this video is only gonna to pertain to people that are really struggling with their morning routine. I'd recommend having an ice long black if you, if you really uh, don't wanna take all the joy out of your life. <laughs> Um, I would just have a strong small latte in the morning and then not have any caffeine later on in the day. But the more, less caffeine you can have in the morning, the better. Uh, so typically I'll just say an espresso shot or a piccolo or something like that is gonna be more beneficial uh, than jacking yourself up full of caffeine immediately without even waking up properly, okay? That is gonna be my number three. 
Those are my three fat loss habits that I would recommend anybody revise if they are currently making these mistakes. If you're making the, if you're having simple sugars in the morning, your liquid calories, or too many stimulants too early on, I would definitely recommend um, that you work on all of those things. I hope this video helps, and if it didn't, you know the drill. Go. Team, if you like that video, be sure to click here for your next video or here for something that you may like all that sort of stuff and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you get all our videos we make at least one video daily on a different topic see you on the next one